and welcome back to lesson 16 in the creation of our school management system with the GeForce IT Service Academy using Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word. So in lesson 15, we started formatting our user form here. We started giving the, the various formatting to the, the buttons that we have on our user form. So in this lesson two, we are going to continue without wasting much time to continue our editing we are going to do the necessary editing here so if you are new to the channel kindly subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell for all as we dive into this lesson so let's just select the first uh label here then let's right click okay so let's just select the first label here right click then we select all we drag it like this we select all then you press and hold control on your computer keyboard let's select these ones too you press and hold control on the computer keyboard again let's select this one as well good let's go to font let's go to font to set our font style and things. so we select times new roman as the font style then we want it to be bold then from there we come to 12 we want the font size to be 12 let's select the 12 and see good so we have it there perfectly now let's go to uh special effect okay so we are done with that one let's just maintain it like that let's go to back color let's go to back color and try to set our back color so let's go to the palette there let's give it a color like this let's see how it will appear okay that's nice let's try to select a color like this so we need to go back to four color let's come back to four color here and let's change the color of the the text on the various labels to white i think we are good to go now i think this is really looking nice i think this is nice wow okay so now let's come to uh let's come to the column width here then we can we can expand this box here we can expand it a little bit so that we will see the various settings that we need to do okay so let's come to this one here i think this is cool i think this is cool so now let's come to the the buttons at the down here let's select all Control C and hold on the sorry press and hold control on your computer keyboard Then you come to this side here. We select all at once now. Let's go to Let's go to the back color Let's give it some color. So let's go to the palette there Then we give it something like black here. I think this is cool So let's go to the four color and let's change the four color to white for the main time let's change the four color to white for the main time good so we have our four color then let's come to this one too let's do the same thing for that one as well so we change the back color to black like the the, the previous ones then we come to the four color we maintain the white there good i think our form is having some nice shape now now let's click on the this one let's click inside the frame we need to click inside the frame and give the frame some nice background color so let's try to give it this color i think this color is nice wow wow that's really interesting so let's just click on the run at the top here like this then we select this one good so we have our form here so this is how uh, our form will look like this is the shape that our form will take when we are done so let's just close this one here like this then let's go back let's come to this side here let's click inside the frame here then let's give it a color we want to give the frame also some nice color so let's change the color of the second frame there so i think we should select something like uh something like this no let's select a different color i think something like this it's not bad 
let's let's check let's check that one again okay let's select another one i think this one will be ideal i think this one will be ideal for this lesson now let's click on the user form itself the first user form this one let's click on it so please when you are doing it when you are drawing the frame make sure that you have a particular section you have a space so that whenever you want to click on the main user form you can have the chance to do that without any problem so let's try to give it some background color let's go to the palette let's choose this color i think this color is okay i think this color is okay so let's just run it wow so this this is the form i think this is looking good i think this is looking good the buttons are showing the search section and all that I think we are good to go i think we are on course so this one will not work now until we are done with everything so let's close it and go back again now we have this here so let's let's see if we can still change the the background color of uh, this one so let's select something like this no this one is not looking good at all so let's let this one no it's odd cra okay so let's come let's go to that side again and let's select something like this i think this is the best okay so we need to give a color to this one too we need to give it the color so let's go to that side again and i think we should give it some blue no 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 let's just go back and maintain that color there now let's click outside the frame here outside like this sorry let's just close that one we don't need that thing for now so you click outside like this then we give that one to some nice background color so let's select something like this and see okay i think this is looking good this one is, is good is good okay i think that one is good it's looking good but let's try to adjust something there no this is not what we want to change so let's undo that action and then we go back so let's just go back to the color tab again and we give it the blue color that we gave it okay let's try and see if we can still do something about the color there okay let's maintain this one let's maintain this one now let's come to the option buttons here so you select one press and hold control you select the second one or you can drag it like this to the second one then let's give it some nice background color so we go to the palette here like that then let's choose this color so that it will be matching with the one that we have here okay so i think our form is having some nice shape here okay so let's quickly run it and see how the form will look like so wow we have it here so we don't want this video to be long so let's meet in our next lesson don't forget to subscribe thank you very much for watching